Alrighty. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys enjoyed that last game. A lot of crazy plays happened. A lot of exciting action. And in this one, it's number 15, Jacksonville. Going to be hosting the Prairie View A&M Panthers. Let's take a look at the matchup real quick. Number 5, total offense in the country. Jacksonville, number 10, defense. Panthers with the number 30 offense and the 80th defense. So the Panthers might have a little bit of a hard time here tonight stopping this Dolphin offense. Of course, Jacksonville is without their starting quarterback, Michael Hines. Let's go ahead and take a look at his injury real quick. And there he is. He's out two weeks with a bruised shoulder. So let's see if that's going to be a big loss for them or not. They are going to be having true freshman quarterback, Nolan Connor, fill in. And I believe this is his first career start. I don't know if he started at all at the beginning of the year. I can't remember because that was so long ago. But he's a pretty capable quarterback, 72% on the season so far, 414 yards, five touchdowns, and just one pick. He's also got three rushing touchdowns. So eight total touchdowns for him, and not bad at all. Let's take a look at the Panthers' stats, their stat leaders on the season. All right, there we go. Nathan Waller, he's a really good quarterback. 22 touchdowns, only two interceptions on the season. 2,568 yards through the air for him. And let's see, rushing. They don't have a great ground attack, obviously. You can see their stats right here. Uh, a couple players with over 300 yards, though. Redshirt senior Don Dean and true freshman Kenton Pitts. He leads the team in touchdowns with five. Their leading receiver, Evan Thompson, true freshman, 69 catches. And let's see what else here. Nine touchdowns, six touchdowns for senior receiver Robert Dawson. He is pretty solid. And Don Dean, the retro senior halfback, also has 400 yards receiving and two scores. Their number two guy is out for four weeks, Austin Goins. The sack leader has four on the season, true freshman Aaron Edwards at left end. Leading interception man, Isaac Williams. That's their strong safety. And let's see, seven forced fumbles on the season for the defense. Not terrible. All right. Tyler Rocky in the chat. Let's see who else. Marvin Joseph, of course. And no defensive touchdowns. Their kicker's not very good. 46% on the season. And no returns for touchdowns for the Panthers. And Resib23 in the chat. How do you choose a team? Do you mean for when you're picking a player? Let's see here. Hold on one sec. Ray Senga in the chat. My brother, what's going on, man? All right, here's the Panthers' schedule this season. They beat Eastern Kentucky. That's a solid win right there because Eastern Kentucky's only got three losses on the season. They did lose to Georgia Southern by quite a bit. Beat Jackson State, beat Wofford. So two wins right there where they should have won easily. And they were actually pretty close games. Uh, another close win here against Texas Southern. They beat Alabama A&M. Lost to Alabama State. They lost to Elkhorn State. That was a really close game for them. And the Braves, a really high power offense. So they <laughs> only held them to uh, 33. So not bad. They also beat Grambling State. Leading up to this beatdown that they're about to get. Oh, 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 no. What happened here? Oh, no. Dalton Hayes, team rules three games. Hayes has skipped numerous team meetings and has no respect for team rules. He needs to be penalized severely for his actions. All right. So I guess Quasi Sands is going to be out here punting the football. Jen Siwilak. I think that's how you pronounce that name. How you doing? Appreciate you stopping by. Marvin, what uniforms do you want to wear, buddy? You want to use the alternates? Or do you want to use the regular home? Let me know quickly. Starting defensive tackle is injured. Get Zach Allen on the field. I'll see what I can do, man. I will get him some playing time. Definitely want to have all of these subscriber players out there on the field. 
getting as much playing time as possible. Where'd Marvin go? Marvin, where are you? All right, I'm just going to go with the regular home jerseys. Doing it. It's too late. <laughs> All right, he went with the regular anyway. Good timing right there, right after I did it. Love it. So plenty of injuries here for both squads. And obviously the suspension for Dalton Hayes, the punter. Well, watch out for Mr. Highlight. 28 total touchdowns on the season. Zane Williams, 11 sacks on the year. And the Panthers' offense is really the thing to look out for. For them. Their defense, not so much. I have no idea who number 59 is and why he's the captain right now. Oh, because Michael Hines got injured. That's why. It's all making sense to me. And on the return is Deshaun Harris. And Deshaun, nice spin move. Deshaun, nice return up to the 30-yard line, I think. Yep, 30-yard line, okay. Nolan Connor, two freshman, making the start tonight. Only seven viewers? I know, right? What's up with that? We're going to start it off with a little run here. And there's Jukes McGee. Tries a back juke. Doesn't work out too well. And the Panthers on the prowl right there. Nice stop. Does the Panthers have a good team? I mean, they're not bad. They're 6-3 and three on the year in the SEC. So, not terrible. McGee gets the carry. Jukes McGee cuts it back to the middle. First down, about 13 yard carry. All right. Let's keep it respectful in the chat, folks. I love you. First down and 10. And Tyler Matthews, the fullback, gets a couple yards. Not a whole lot. All right, let's see if we can get the passing game popping a little bit. Right. Nolan Connor attempting his first pass in the game. Throws it up. Highlight comes away with it. No, that's Marshall at the 40-yard line. Nice catch for the number two receiver. That's what I like to see. Have I thought about doing an NCAA 14 series? Well, I started one. Have one on the channel. Uh, but it the video got corrupted. So we kind of like missed a few games. This video's got corrupted somehow. That was back when I was using an HD PVR2. Um, but I resurrected the Tampa Spartans football program. Um, and Mike Allstott was the head coach and everything. It was really fun. But I just haven't been able to get back to it yet. And Owen Connor gets a couple yards up the middle. But I appreciate you stopping by the stream, Fox. Appreciate you. But if I can figure out a way to kind of, you know, salvage that series somehow, I'll definitely bring that back. Absolutely. And Mr. Highlight gets the carry. He's gone too fast. Touchdown, Dolphins. Just like that, they take the lead. Very nice drive. Freshman quarterback Nolan Connor. Little nine yard touchdown run for the highlight reel. Mr. Highlight himself. Extra point from Sands is up and good. If I ever bring back the Tampa Spartans, do it on 06 maybe? Well, maybe. Possibility.
I think if I was to do any creative school dynasties, it would be on games before 06. Oh, what a hit by Devin Rambo, the freshman linebacker. My goodness. Keep up the good content. I will try to do that for you, Fox. Absolutely, buddy. But it's fine. Oh, there's uh, Zach Allen. Where is he? He's not there yet. I'll have to switch him. Um, yeah, I would definitely do a creative team on maybe 05, possibly. But I don't know. I don't want to do any more creative teams on 06, since we already have 12 for this. I mean, they're not actually created teams. You know, those are real colleges. And the Tampa Spartans, I mean, they were a real team, but they are defunct now. And that passes off the mark for the Panthers. Waller, one of two. Yeah, I think if I was to do another created team dynasty, it would be for 05, most likely. Oh, my goodness. Parker Palmer, offsides. Who's overrated? Why are you being so hurtful? Let's go defense, step it up. They're down at two after the encroachment penalty. They're offsides, whatever they want to call it nowadays. And they're gonna go play action. And that is off the mark again. Before I forget, let me go ahead and uh, put Zach Allen in here for that defensive tackle that shouldn't be there at all. Who are you, sir? Get off the field. No, why, why is that guy even there? Okay. All right, Zach Allen is in there on uh, pretty much every formation now. Believe, maybe. All right, good enough. Awesome. Yeah. Press one if you think madness <laughs> and then twenty straight garbage. Uh, yeah, uh, I would press a one right now if I could. Trust me. I tried. I tried doing a franchise in that game. I really tried. Think Mr. Highlight is overrated? What? Are you crazy? Let's go, Jukes. Jukes McGee with a four yard carry. The uh, Jacksonville Dolphins did secure a five star halfback in in season recruiting. I'm pretty excited about that. So, Jukes McGee will no longer carry the load by himself. No problem, Ray. I got you. Another carry. Stop the line of scrimmage. Juice McGee in the open field. Doesn't have the speed. He's a little tired. Gets up to the 41. Older Maddens are better than the newer ones, hands down. Absolutely, man. 100 percent I really I really tried. I tried to do a Madden 20 franchise. And let me tell you, it's so forgettable. That series really didn't get a whole lot of traction on the channel. And quite frankly, I just did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy playing that game at all. Zero good times. I 100% regret spending money on that game. It has zero replay value. High snap. Nice catch for Deshaun Harris. Laying out for it, baby. Let's go. Get hyped. Jacksonville should win this game. Absolutely, man. Connor, the throw, deep shot to the back of the end zone to Sean Harris. Oh, nice deflection. We had him. We had him one on one. But a nice play by the cornerback right here. Just barely hits the ball. But it was enough. 
All right. Not buying next year? Zero. Zero percent chance of that. It's your highlight on the reverse. Oh boy. Cut it back to the other side. No way. Highlight to the end zone. Let's go. A wide receiver reverse. <laughs> Cut back to the other side. Takes it all the way. Let's go. Also, a uh, shout out to Luke Keekley who just retired from the Carolina Panthers. Eight fantastic years for one of my favorite players of all time. Hanging it up due to health reasons. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I understand why he retired. What is with the hate for Mr. Highlight in the chat right now? What? <laughs> Didn't Highlight used to be number 24? No, number 24 for the Dolphins is Allen Davidson, the cornerback right there. Right here. Mr. Highlight has always been number 84. When he goes against a real team, he'll have two yards per carry. I mean, he's a wide receiver, so <laughs> that'd be all right, I guess. Waller trying to throw it deep, and Malik Bean has the pick. Not a good decision by the quarterback. Bean has been on a tear this season. Catching passes from the quarterbacks. And that was just not a good decision whatsoever. Devin Rambo almost had the pick as well. What up, Tom? Appreciate you coming back to this stream, buddy. Wish 2K still made football. Yeah, absolutely. Big dog, big dog. Uh oh, Connor trying to escape and gets past the line of scrimmage. That was immediate pressure off the right edge. Did I watch the FCS championship game this year? Yeah, how about... <laughs> did you guys like that uh, fake field goal touchdown? That was awesome. Marshall on the catch to the 40-yard line. NFL 2K5 is in the Video Game Hall of Fame. 100%, man. I have that game. I'll be playing it on the channel. Uh... At some point. Throw it up. Jermaine Marshall is here. And deflected away again. XFL game would be sick if 2K made it. Gonna take off here with Connor. Picks up eight or nine yards. Everybody relax in the chat, please. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Be nice to each other. Love each other. Can't wait for the Big 12 schools to play Western Carolina because that's where you're going next year. That's awesome, Carter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now let's throw it up. Why not? Highlights there. Oh, deflected away. And we are in field goal range. We got Quasi Sanchez missed once this season, I believe. Eight championships in nine years, Fox. Eight. That's crazy. But they don't have the money to move up. And I think I missed that one. No, I didn't. 
Quasi Sands to the field goal. Have I played the black college football experience by Doug Williams? I have not. I would like to. Like I mentioned in the last stream, I, I love, you know, like the black college football experience, not like the game, but, <laughs> you know, the actual experience, the bands, you know, the rivalries, the tradition of all of those schools. So I, I've wanted to play that game. I just haven't been able to actually get it. Man, wide open. That's the halfback. Oh, Malik Bean lays him out. And it's 17-0 at the end of the first quarter. I'm blitzing. Get out of here. Marcus Pedersen is so fantastic. And left side off the helmet of the receiver. You guys are having me read the chat way too much right now. Third down and six. I'm like half paying attention to the game and half paying attention to the chat right now. Oh my goodness. There's a sack for Zach Allen. First of the game for the freshman. Hit that like button. That's right. Join the Discord community if you haven't already. Hopefully... My, my buddy Tom will post the Discord link in the chat. I would love to see all of you guys in there. Over 100 members currently in there. And if you want a player in this series, you got to join the Discord. Mr. Highlight on the punt return. And he's got blazing speed, baby. Touchdown, Dolphins. No flags. That's his third touchdown of the ballgame. What an absolute monster he is. Extra point is good. 24 nothing. Sands on for the kickoff. Still kind of in shock that Luke Keekley retired. Nice run by Dean, and there's a face mask. Or not. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Dean on the toss. Close to the sticks. Third down in inches. Fullback. Oh, huge hit. Yeah, Luke Keekley retired, man. And we got the stop right there. I didn't think we got the stop. Yeah, Mr. Highlight is definitely going to end up going pro um, after his junior season for sure. Hey, you better fix that Wi-Fi, bro. We got a game to play after this. Highlight on the return. Highlight. Trying to break a tackle here, and gets tackled anyways. This 
a little bit tired now. <laughs> Connor doesn't really have to do a whole lot here today. Christian Hart, deep shot, and Hart lays out for the catch. What a play by the tight end. Mike plays in the chat. What's up, brother? Appreciate you stopping by again. I believe we already have a thumbnail like this this season, but my goodness, you got to appreciate the effort here. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Thumbnail. Love it. Right. Amazing catch by Christian Hart. Yeah. Big dog, big dog. Jukes McGee out here tossing the pigskin inside the 20 yard line. Let's go, baby. Look at those stats. Look at that. 1,000 receiving yards, 1,000 return yards. Oh my goodness. Should throw more to the tight end? Well, I would love to. I really would. But I, I believe Christian Hart was injured for a bit, or was he suspended for a few games? I can't remember. I know he was out for a couple games at least. But I love throwing to the tight ends. For all the teams, really. Who wants it? Tyler Matthews is open. Nice deflection by the middle linebacker. Second down and ten, they go offside. Do I watch Miles Dawkins at all? I used to watch him before I really started doing YouTube. Heck, that was three years ago. But I loved his San Antonio Bulls dynasty. Uh, even though he spammed the heck out of that direct snap. Here is Jukes McGee on the off tackle for the touchdown. But once I started doing my content on YouTube and the fact that he was so inconsistent with his series all the time, starting him up and then quitting him and starting him up and quitting him again and again, you know, I just, I lost interest. So I, I haven't really, I think I've watched like maybe a couple of his videos in the past two years. But like I said, I used to watch him all the time. But I, I do, I love, you know, his commentary is fantastic. I think that's what really draws people into him. But one of my, my favorite YouTubers before I started doing YouTube was, it was Miles Dawkins with his Bulls Dynasty. And Mr. Hurricane I used to watch him all the time, too. I haven't watched any of his stuff in a long time, either. Lost player left side. Dean is brought down by Devin Rambo by the face mask. But I, I do appreciate the, uh, the comparison <laughs> to Miles Dawkins. I'm definitely not on his level, that's for sure. But I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah, his through the years were cool. I like watching some of those. And that's really how his channels got so big. Because, you know, anytime you do a video about LeBron James, you're going to blow up. So, he did that for basketball. He was doing, you know, like the Hall of Fame inductees and stuff. And that's really why his channel got so many subscribers the way it did. And I just, I don't have anything like that on my channel. Which is why it's been such a grind trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we're coming up on the three-year anniversary of our first video on the channel so three years and we're at 855 right now I believe and this pass is caught Zane Williams can't make the tackle but Alan Davidson does and there is a holding what about coach Dawkins that that is Miles Dawkins Tyler that's his second Account, buddy. 
still third down. Third down and 20 now. For the Panthers, less than two minutes left in the half. It's 31 nothing. Yeah, he did do a Warhawks dynasty. Yep. Uh-oh. Allen Davidson one-on-one. -on -one. Malik Bean trying to cover. Oh, my goodness. He hangs on to it after the vicious hit from Malik Bean. How did he hang on to that? That is one of the nastiest hits I've seen. Yeah, I lost interest in the uh, the Warhawks dynasty as well for Mr. Highlight. Or Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hurricane, excuse me. But Mr. Highlight is another channel. I do watch his videos still. Get out of here. <laughs> Been doing YouTube for 10 plus years, still on 150 subs. Yeah, you got to do it consistently, man. That's that's the thing. Yeah, the crowd is awesome. I love, you know, when your team is terrible, there's like nobody in the stands. That is definitely one of the things that makes this game amazing. Nice catch. Dawson has the first down. You sure can, Tyler. Make your own franchise. Put it up on YouTube. I'm sure people will watch it. NFL action makes EA fill the stadiums. They sure do. Oh, that's a user pick, baby. Let's go. Marcus Pedersen, too good. Picked up a few yards. Second down and six now. This is going to be a shutout game. I don't know, man. A&M can definitely move the football. They just need to hold on to it. Yeah, the recruiting is definitely more in-depth for 08. I will 100% agree on that. Jermaine Marshall, one-on-one. -on -one. And he comes down with it. Inside the 25-yard line. His third catch today. He's putting up some big numbers. Yeah, we'll be getting to uh, NCAA 08 eventually on the channel. And 09 for you, Marvin. We'll get there. But first, we got to get through 04, 05. We're going to do a solo team dynasty for this game as well. And then we got to get through 07 and that god-awful kick return camera that I just can't stand. I almost let the time run out. Don't judge. McGee, what you doing, bruh? You gotta block that man. My favorite college team is the Miami Hurricanes. I've been watching them since 1995. I was four years old. Right. Owen Connor gonna take off. Nolan Connor inside the 15-yard line. We call our final timeout. Set up a field goal here for Quasi Sands. You support your home state teams? I would do that, but I just can't stand any of them. 
And Quasi Sands kick is up and good. He's two for two today. And we'll have one more play here in the first half. Outside kick. Let's get it. Why not? We got it! <laughs> Deshaun Harris on the outside recovery. You have to love it. That's the end of the first half. 34 nothing. Jacksonville Dolphins are on top. Yeah, you do like those bills, don't you? That was our grandpa's team. Although at one point, at one point, Adam was a Cowboys fan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's up? Letting the cat out of the bag. Come on, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Panthers? You ain't gonna do nothing. Sack. Let's go. Sack lunch, baby. Nom, 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 nom. St. Williams. What's three things you wish EA would bring back? Um, let's see. College football. Um, basically team builder, stadium builder in a game. That would be nice. And uh, college basketball. I'd love to see that. Nice play for Dawson. First down. Not your proudest moment? Definitely not, man. Rooting for the Cowboys. Come on now. Although, I can't lie. Cowboys are pretty nasty in the 90s. Early 90s. Oh, halfback pass. Let's go. Let's destroy him right here. Sit down, son. Get off my field. Get out of here. Josh Allen needs to uh, be a little bit better with the football in his hands. Make some better decisions. I think he'd be all right. Uh, they should have beat the Texans. He just made some costly mistakes that, you know, cost him the game. Second down at 16 now after that terrible halfback toss play. Oh, come on. I read that like a book. Come on. My goodness. Let me get that. Alright, who want it? Who want it? Uh oh, single coverage. Incomplete. Okay, I'll take it. Pedersen out here attempting murder on the football field. <laughs> you know it. Oh, I just want to let you guys know, I also root for the, uh, the Miami Dolphins. I've always rooted for all the Miami teams. But they're, they're like my secondary team in the NFL. Highlight with a nice return up past the 40-yard line. And it was so sweet watching the Dolphins beat the Patriots in the final week of the season. I mean, I watched the highlights of it, but whatever. JU Stadium is rocking. What up, Noah? Appreciate you coming back to this stream, buddy. This stadium is going to be in the top 25. Toughest stadiums. Nolan Connor, look out. The young freshman. Does he got enough speed? Oh, inside the 10 down to the 8-yard line. Oh, my goodness. He has very deceptive speed, folks. He's no Michael Hines, but he sure can book it. What a run. Miami Sharks too? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Willie Beeman, what's up? What's up? Connor, play action. Tight end is open and almost picked off. Didn't get a whole lot of power behind that throw. That's unfortunate. Adam, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab you. I'm just gonna stab you. That's right, physical violent threats. 
on the channel. What's up? Touchdown, Jermaine Marshall. Simple little curl route for the score. Did anyone see Antonio Brown's video on Instagram? The one where he threw a, a bag of uh, you know what at his girlfriend or wife or whatever? I'm not saying that word out here. I'm just not saying it. Deceptive speed because he's white. <laughs> well, he's he's like a pocket passer, man. Don't don't hate on me, all right? So hurtful. Owen Connor plays like his brother a little bit, a little bit more accurate though. I mean, I, I will be the first to admit that I like to just chuck it deep with Alexander Connor for the Cal Poly Mustangs. It's like Brett Favre for me. Oh, Zach Allen destroyed on the kickoff. That's right, slap that like button like it owes you money. Also, join our Discord community today if you want a player in this series. I could be calling your name in the next video. What's up? I mean, maybe not the next video, but ne next season for sure. Let me ask What? What? What is this? Devin Rambo's the fastest guy on the defense. What just happened? Brah! What? How did that even happen? And where has this been all game long for the Panthers? What? What in tarnation was that? Goodness gracious, man. Well, there goes the shutout, folks. All right, man, I'll see you in just a little bit. Backup time, absolutely not. We do not put the backups in here on this channel. No siree. Let me tell you a little story about the last time I was doing a Dynasty, um, I think I was like 15 or 16, playing on Heisman, of course, and uh, I was doing a Dynasty with Harvard, and I can't remember who I was beating, but it was an FCS Dynasty just like this one, just without 12 other schools in it that were created by me. Uh, Tyler Matthews really quick, nine yard carry for the fullback. But anyways, back to my story. I was up 35 to nothing with with Harvard. I think I was facing Yale. And I put the backups in. It was 35 nothing at halftime. I put the backups in and Yale just kept on scoring and I was way too stubborn to put the starters back in. So I never did. And it ended up costing me the game. And we lost it 38-35, I believe. Oh, Jukes McGee showing some power. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't put backups in. I'm just not. I'm just not gonna do it. I don't care if it's 120 to nothing. I'll keep scoring. Sorry, I couldn't get you that shutout, Marvin. But that was a nasty, nasty juke move by the quarterback. Red 24. Connor on the option. Connor in the open field again. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. He's got 93 rushing yards tonight. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all for the backup freshman quarterback. Were the backups in the low 60s? Um, I don't know. It was, I think it was... I was in like my eighth season with Harvard. Oh, fumble! Why is Hollins? Oh boy, that's a big fella. Oh my goodness! Wow. But no, I think I was in like the fifth or not the fifth, the seventh or eighth season with uh, with Harvard in that dynasty. My team was really good. Uh, Yale was very good too. We absolutely took over the Big East. It was basically just both of our schools. And everybody else would just get blown out. Um, but no, they weren't in the low 60s. Everybody was... All the starters were close to mid-80s. Oh, we were pretty good. Wow. 
Everybody's tired, and I don't know what to call anymore on offense. Third down and 16. We're in field goal range for Quasi Sands. And we don't, we're not in field goal range anymore. That was a terrible block attempt, Jukes. What you doing, Brett? Let me see where that wind's going. I think we can make this. I didn't get enough power on it. Man, if I got 99 on that, that was good. Quasi Sands, I think that's his second or third miss now in the season. That's all right. He's got a really good leg. It's, it's nice to be able to actually attempt field goals longer than 45 yards. You don't always get them, but that's all right. I got stuck on my own guy. Alan Davidson can't get there, but it's out of bounds anyway. Right. Toss play out to Dean, and I can't get there. Look out. Parker Palmer, five-star freshman defensive end, saving the touchdown. You got to love the effort from the big guy. Play here for Dean. How did I miss that? Oh my goodness. JU has a strong leg at kicker. Absolutely. If I had 99 power on that kick, I'm pretty sure he would have made it. It would have been very close, but I think he would have had it. And that was against four mile an hour wins. Nice hit. Let's go, Zane. Let's go, baby. Three tackles today, one sack. For the All-American linebacker. Get the crowd into it again. Not bad. Five bars of Stadium Pulse when we're up by a million. <laughs> Planning on moving Palmer to defensive tackle next season. I like it. He's definitely got the size for it. And he's really, he just hasn't been getting enough pressure off of the edge. At least for, for my liking. For, for a five-star talent, he should be close to double-digit sacks right now. And I don't think he's... I think he has about maybe five or six. Let me at him. No, bad pass. I like it. You are 100% correct on that, Rocky. <laughs> 100%, man. Any 99 overall on these teams? No, sir. Now 41 to 10, A&M has double digits. I'm a little bit salty about it, to be honest with you. Just a highlight on for the return. From his own goal line. Highlight. Oh, he's taken down at the 26 yard line. Good tackle, good tackle. Whole offense is still exhausted right now. Feels bad. I think the highest overall player we have is a 90 overall. Connor on the option. Connor gets a nice block from Tyler Matthews. He might take it the distance. The safety's there, drags him down. Connor goes well over 100 yards, rushing 141. Oh my goodness gracious. I was not expecting this type of performance from the freshman. Wow. And I was tackling inbounds. That's going to be the final play of the third quarter, folks. Get your fours up. Nolan Connor having himself one heck of a game here in Jacksonville, Florida. 
Number 15, Dolphins on top, 41 to 10 versus SEC foe Prairie View A&M. Connor needs some speed. <laughs> well, he's he's got a pretty good amount of it. He's got 141 rushing yards today. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, face mask. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. That'll get us to the nine yard line. Fourth quarter action time. <laughs> You best believe it. Wow. Immediate pressure off the right side. GTA. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. <laughs> There's some other games that I was never really able to get into. Good to know we can still keep some option plays when Hines goes pro. Absolutely, man. Connor, <laughs> he is so good right now. Connor going to take off, and that's going to be an easy touchdown. My goodness. This young man is balling out right now. Too easy. Did we already get a thumbnail for this game? I think we did. Oh yeah, we got that Christian Hart catch. Seventy-four yard drive took just over a minute off the clock. It's forty-eight to ten here in Jacksonville. You guys hear how loud this stadium is right now, and you could see from that last screen right there that it's just the stadium's not even full step slower and he might have gotten lit up on the touchdown <laughs> yeah I think so I think you're right on that Pass, Devin Rambo on the coverage. No, that's actually Walter on the coverage. Middle linebacker. I was able to get Jacksonville a four-star middle linebacker recruit in season. Nice tackle by Parker Palmer. Okay. It's better than another quarterback we know that wears green. Wow. Why you gonna be so disrespectful? What happens if the kicker goes pro? Oh, I mean, we I guess we got to get another one, huh? Come on, what is with the offsides here? Third down and nine for the Panthers. And Waller tries to run around here, and he bounces off a couple players, and he is sacked. And let's see who got him this time. And that was Frank Frazier. Walter needs to be in the EFL 100%, man. He's been solid since the FCS tournament. Shout out to the OGs who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Highlight on the punt return. Nice spin move, nice juke move. Still going up past the 50, and there's a holding oh, call. Only on the penalty. First down. And that was actually on them, so I like it. We could have made him re-kick, but that's all right. Back time, he goes nowhere. Matthews is more of a blocker. And he can he can pass catch as well. 
Zach Allen will be a star for JU. I think he might be. Who wants it? Christian Hart. Oh, he just misses him. Rocky Clearwater going to play all four seasons. Okay. I like it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You got to get your degree, you know? down, breaking tackles, carrying defenders, who's got the first down on third and ten. My goodness. What a run. Oh boy. Connor trying to escape, and he does. Drag down after a 12-yard carry. I just had no idea he could run the football like this. And I'm loving it. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Oh boy. I'm not going to escape this one. He's tired. He's tired. Throw it back. Oh, Marshall comes out with it. Oh my goodness. 12 yard reception for Marshall. Look at the numbers for Connor 339 total yards, two touchdowns. Got to get your scouting points up as well. 100%, man. We will have some real owners in the EFL, so they could be watching you right now. Seeing how active you are. Who wants it? Highlight wants it? Yes, he does. Wide open. Too easy. We got the 50 burger, baby. Let's get it. Connor with three touchdowns tonight. I believe that his highlight's fourth. Could be Smith. I lost count. Game ball is going to go to Nolan Connor. Absolutely. And it is now 55 to 10. Yeah, this team is definitely in good hands with Michael Hines injured. Kick from Sands, eight yards deep in the end zone. Time of possession has been won by Jacksonville. This whole game is <laughs> every category just won by Jacksonville. And fullback picks up a few yards. Walter on the tackle. The double nickel. Yeah, buddy. 5-5 five, five to 10. Get out of here. Parker Palmer and Marcus Pedersen combine on the tackle for a loss. You call that 10 cents. <laughs> How did he catch that between three defenders? Unreal. Henderson State is beating number six, New Hampshire, in your dynasty in the fourth quarter. My goodness. New Hampshire gave Savannah State a run for their money last season in this dynasty. That was one heck of a game. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that one. Just click on the Savannah State Tigers playlist. I think they're backup quarterback. Actually, all their backups are in now. And Pitts will pick up seven yards. Noah, are you recording those games? You absolutely should be. I'm just saying. Who wants smoke? How did I miss that? No! How did he catch that? <laughs> what? What just happened? I missed the sack somehow. 
and that interception went right through the hands of the defender. And he's taunting. Down by 45 points. You have to love it. Excuse me while I open up the water, because I am a bit parched. And there's a sack. Hines is injured. And let's see who had the sack right there. I believe it was uh, Richardson. And it was. It was good old Richardson. Subscriber defensive end. Defensive tackle. Whatever he is. He's on the defensive line. That's all you need to know. Cut back to Pitts. Any more games coming up? Uh, not tonight. There will be two more tomorrow night, though. And another sack. Oh, my goodness. Palmer getting two sacks tonight. That's going to bring up fourth down and 19. And Richardson combined on the sack. Just got absolutely destroyed. And they're going to punt it from our 42-yard line. on the return. Oh, what a block. I don't know if you guys saw that, but my goodness. Touchdown, JU. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got the 60-burger on the last play. Play was insane. Highlight with five touchdowns total today. That was a 94 yard punt return for a score. Wow. Let me go ahead and see how many he had. Well, actually, I don't know how many he had last week. And I don't have the stats updated yet. But my goodness, 497 yards of offense. That block on that punt. Wow. And I, I got to go back and watch it right now. Just, I got, oh, uh, oh, we do have time. Okay. Who did that? Oh, my goodness. Devin Rambo, <laughs> freshman middle linebacker. You didn't have to do the mans like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> back to the stats. Connor, 205 yards passing today. He was sacked twice. No turnovers for the Dolphins. 750 total yards. They won a time possession battle as well. That block was so nasty, guys. Oh, my goodness. Highlight was three of the touchdowns in the first half. Marshall had a touchdown. Highlight with two more touchdowns. One as time expired. My goodness gracious. Jukes McGee, one of one today, 19 yards. Connor, 10 of 16, 186, two touchdowns. My goodness, what a game from him. 164 yards on the ground with a touchdown. McGee at 85. Highlight with 32 and two touchdowns rushing. Matthews with 11 yards. Receiving, Highlight only had one touchdown. Just two catches today for him. But we didn't really need him on offense. Jermaine Marshall, 103 yards of the team. Five catches, one touchdown. Tyler Matthews had a 30-yarder. Hart with a 31-yarder. One drop for Harris, one for Marshall. That's the kind of stuff that gets you more playing time. You like that fire? That, that was an outstanding block. By Devin Rambo. I'm sure we'll be hearing about that for quite some time. Pedersen with seven tackles. Palmer with six. Rambo also had three tackles. One for a loss today for the defense. Davidson three tackles. Zane Williams. Zach Allen had a sack. Ryan Richardson, the freshman end, had a sack. Not a whole lot of stats, really, on the defense. 
13 tackles for a loss, though. Two, four, six sacks. And those are all subscriber players, folks. Four linemen. <laughs> all of the freshmen defensive linemen had sacks today. And Zane Williams had one. Malik Bean with a pick. Marcus Pedersen with a pick. Two pass deflections. No forced fumbles. Quasi Sands missed a 57-yard field goal. Well, let me get the rest of his stats real quick. Ten kickoffs, five touchbacks. Not bad, not bad. No punts. I mean, we didn't have a punter anyway. And, of course, highlight with two punt returns for touchdowns along of 94 as time expired. My goodness gracious. All right. That is going to be it for the streams tonight, folks. we got two more games left here in Week 13. Let me see if I can find my schedule here. One second. North Dakota State, 25th in the country, is going to be traveling to take on Big 12 opponent Nichols State, the Colonels. That should be a fun game. Nichols State runs uh, kind of a wishbone offense, so we're going to be seeing them run the football quite a bit against the Bison. And, of course, North Dakota State runs the triple option attack. So that game is going to end very quickly. It's going to be low scoring. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to that one. And our final game of Week 13, let me see here, is going to be the number 6 VMI Cadets at the number 11 William & Mary Tribe. That is a non-conference game for VMI. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And the last one, if you have not joined our Discord community, go ahead and do so. I'd love to see you guys in there. You know, I'm in there every day. Got a lot of great people in there. So, you know, make some friends, chat it up, share some memes, talk about your favorite sports, your favorite teams, and everything like that. Also, hit the like button on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys tomorrow night with our final two games of week number 13. Until then, take it easy, guys.